like a lot of our sound comes from from just jamming and a lot of if we have a structure it comes from within that and so we're not just sitting down like trying to you know with a chalkboard and like awesome. writing down yeah. like yeah being like oh we need you know this many bars of this many bars of that it's like it comes out and then you kind of just like dice it up I mean, not even usually it's just best the first time you played it. It seems like, yeah, we feel that, that transitions and you know, segueing into parts is, is very important. It almost, you know, almost just keeps it, you know, flowing almost like a soundtrack to a film. Do you guys ever find it hard, uh, you know, playing in LA? I mean, it's a pretty hard. It's the toughest town yeah. in, the, in the world to play. Definitely. That's that's why we try to stay away from the scene, as in the Hollywood sunset scene. We've been fortunate enough to have to have friends, just people who just want to help us, you know. And, and a big uh, big part of that is the, the internet communities, and uh, that's why we've been playing a lot of art galleries, just trying to trying to keep the shows free in all ages. Trying to keep it so we're not rushed on and off stage, you know, so our fans don't have to pay, you know, twenty dollars to park their car, and you know, fifteen dollars to get in and get, you know, see us for deal. half an hour. Yeah. yeah, see us for thirty minutes and deal with, you know, deal with the whole, you know, the whole package that comes with that. Yeah, I I we're think uh, all the like most of the venues in L.A. like are just taking advantage of a lot of hardworking. Um, bands and artists and people that are just trying to get out there and express themselves and be heard and and you know like in LA there's so many people doing that that it's really almost easy to take advantage of those people. We have so many ideas pour out of us that the more we record I think the better you know just not worrying too much just not not obsessing over over the the albums you know just kind of just like letting them come out just like a, like a thought would. And it's, it's a big part of our sound with Jeff and I is just using, using a lot of effects pedals and trying to use them in, that, uh, you know, in good taste for the most part. I, 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 don't like, I like to think of them as maybe like different colors you could use when you're painting or something. And uh, I, I guess I go through phases, like sometimes I'll try and get rid of like a lot of the pedals on my, my setup or you know, just effects and stuff and try and get a more clean sound. You know, even with so many effects that sometimes, you know, the best effect is just the music itself and a certain note and just how you're playing could sometimes just come across, you know. It usually does come across as more powerful. sort of a meditative state, you know, because I think playing music gets me off, and I know it gets these guys off, mm -hmm. we talk about it, we do it, you know, it's like a lot of people make comparisons to like being in a band is like being in a marriage, you know, and really the music is like the sex, so I mean, as long as, you know, we keep it interesting and, you know, flip each other around. Yeah, the sex has been while. great. <laughs> yeah, the sex has been good, you know. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I mean, you know, hopefully we'll take it as far as we can take it. All the way. <laughs> <laughs>